Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Good Tuesday afternoon. Let's look outside on the Star Team 5 Skyway camera powered by Apollo Windows and Doors of Wisconsin in Manitowoc, 26 degrees. Uh, notice some of these uh, mid to high level clouds moving through, kind of blocking out some of that sunshine along portions of the uh, Lake Michigan shoreline. More sunshine here in Appleton. Some of those high level clouds kind of filtering it out just a touch. Uh, on College Avenue 25, currently in Appleton and here in downtown Green Bay. Uh, we're looking at a mostly sunny sky, more blue skies the further north that you go, but conditions are looking pretty good here early this afternoon. 25 at the airport with a north wind at around 9 miles an hour. We'll see winds 5 to 15 miles an hour as we uh, head through the rest of the afternoon until the early evening under a uh, mostly sunny sky, a little more cloud cover the further south you go, and we'll see a few clouds pass through at times later on tonight as well. Right now we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 20s along the lake, but a 28 right now in Sheboygan, 26 in Oshkosh, and some slightly cooler air in the upper teens and lower 20s across the far north, uh, northwestern portions of the viewing area. I want to show you the current ice conditions on Lake Michigan because there is not a lot of it. We have a little across the northern bay and uh, areas further off to the south in the Bay of Green Bay. In total here on Lake Michigan, only 6.9% ice coverage at the moment. We should be in the lower 30s for that percentage for this time of the year. And for the entire Great Lakes, only 5.3. So we are well below average in terms of ice cover so far on the Great Lakes. What is not below average is the water levels. Those are way above average for the month of January on Lake Michigan. We averaged 581.6 feet. That's above sea level. Last year we were at 580 and the old record for January was at 581.3 set back in 1987. So we set a new water level record on Lake Michigan this past month and those levels are still well above average even into early February. Some more sunshine to the north for today. Some cooler weather here the next few days but still very seasonal for this time of the year. We are watching a few snow chances over the upcoming days as well. Now right now you can see a little more of that cloud cover generally south of Highway 29 but you get to the north and we have plenty of blue skies up that direction so a very nice afternoon across much of the state right now. Area high pressure up to our west keeping things fairly quiet for the state at the moment. Some snow showers into Iowa, Nebraska and Kansas with some heavier rain the further south and east that you go. That will avoid us for today. So future cast showing dry weather for the rest of the afternoon. Probably see some clearing skies at times later on tonight. That combined with a light wind and still a healthy snowpack across the area. That allows temperatures to fall into single digits by early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, your Wednesday will start out pretty quiet. I think through the afternoon and evening, we'll, we will see an increase in cloud cover. And then watching for our next chance for snow late Wednesday night, but especially into Thursday. Uh, some areas mainly south and east of Green Bay could see some light snow down that direction. That wraps up through the afternoon hours on Thursday. And then watching for potentially maybe some lake effect snow showers Thursday night and into the day on Friday. See a forecast for the rest of today. That morning cloud cover has now kind of dissipated across the north woods. Some more sunshine to the north, a little more clouds to the south for the rest of today. Look for highs in the mid to upper 20s. And then for tonight, mostly clear, a little chilly as well. You could see temperatures right around zero across the north woods, slightly warmer along the Lake Michigan shoreline. Your seven day planner has a mostly cloudy day on Wednesday, a chance for some snow showers south of Green Bay on Thursday, a few flurries Friday, and then another snow chance on Sunday with highs right around 30. For the latest forecasts, anytime you can find that on our website as we are greenbay.com. You know, it's colder than it has been the last couple of days, but still not bad. This is where we should be this yeah. time of year. It's just been so mild lately that when we fall back to where we should be, it kind of feels cold. A little bit colder, yeah, but still enough to get outside and enjoy yourself yeah, today. Yeah.